What's up you guys? So I am finally going to film a tutorial showing you how I do my famous black smoky eye. I have tried different creations and versions of it using brown, charcoal gray, but I'm going to show you how I do the black smoky eye without having to use a gel liner. Usually I will use the Maybelline eyeliner here, the gel eyeliner. Um, it's a very black liner, but some people get a little scared with using gel eyeliner because it can get messy, which it can. So this is kind of going to be a beginner's way of doing a smoky eye. So I will be using the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to be using the darkest black here. I don't know if you can see it. I should take the plastic off. Uh, this is it here. And I'll be using that black color on the eyelid and I will be also using some of these colors here as my transition color when it comes to smoky eye blending is so important uh, my favorite brush that I use is my m518 brush from Morphe I will be using another brush as well um, to pack on the black color and diffuse it up into the transition color so I'll be showing you guys step by step how I do that Again, without having to use the uh, gel eyeliner, you can achieve a beautiful smoky eye look with just using matte eyeshadows. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And also just to add a little shimmer to it, I will be using uh, the Perception ColourPop eyeshadow palette. <laughs> this color right here, Stallion. It's a like navy blue kind of glittery color. So I kind of want to use a little bit of that on top of it to bring out some color and see how it would look because I've seen a lot of smoky looks where people add some shimmer on top and it looks really pretty. So I'll be experimenting with that one. So let's get started and I'll show you how I do it. I did my eyebrows off camera because it just takes so long for me. So I just wanted to focus mainly on showing you how I do this look. So let's get into it. Okay, so I will be starting with a trans transition color. Usually transition colors shouldn't be too harsh or too dark. Some people do some um, smoky eyes like with a pink transition color or a blue transition color, but we're going to keep it really simple. So go as closest to your skin tone as possible. So for me, this color right here will be my transition color. It's kind of like a caramel color. I can always build on it and make it darker. So always remember when you're doing colors, always go with the lightest tone because you can work with that as opposed to just smacking on something really dark and then it just looks crazy. So I'm going to start a little bit with that, tap off the excess, go back in, tap off a little more, and hopefully you can see it without my hair being in the way. So I like to pat the color down right in the outer V and then I travel it up to the top in circular motions. Now with a black smoky eye, what's great is you don't have to use too many colors, maybe three max, but you mainly just do a transition color and your dark color and really blending, like I said, is gonna be the most important aspect of all of this. So you can see that the transition color is kind of closest to my skin tone. You can't even tell that I put eyeshadow on, which is fine because we're going to build on that color and make it progressively darker you want to have that gradient effect and that the colors are diffusing into each other as opposed to just smacking colors onto your eyelid so the next darkest color will be this color right here right underneath it it's kind of like a chestnut and I'm gonna use that to build up the color and a lot of people say they don't have time or patience for blending but honey Blending will have a big difference on how your eye look is going to come out. Like I know it's it takes a lot of arm work, a lot of hand work, but having the proper brushes also make a big difference too. That's why I really live by this brush from Morphe and they better never discontinue it. You can add more color just to build to your desired darkness. If you feel like you want to add a little bit more color, you can. Okay. So we're just gonna go one more shade darker before we get into our black. I lied to you guys, it's gonna be a little bit more than two shades. <laughs> so I'm going to go in, I wanna say with this one right here. It's a step darker, but not too much. I'm gonna take that. And again, start from the outer V and work our way up.
It's tired sometimes. Roll the shoulders, boop, boop, roll the shoulders. It'll be worth it in the end. So now we have our transition colors pretty much set into place. We are now going to pack in the black. This is the scary part. Yes, but it's okay. <laughs> so I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush. This is the M209 brush by Morphe. I'm going to pack in the black in this area of the lid. So you're gonna go from like the middle down. You don't wanna go up into your transition color because that barrier between where you started and the transition, we're gonna blend that out so that it can look like it's blended together, okay? I hope that's making sense. So we're gonna take this slow. Remember, don't rush. If you have somewhere to go and you're doing a smoky eye, please give yourself an hour and a half <laughs> so you're not rushing. So we're gonna go in with that jet black color right here. And we are going to drag and pack right on there. So you have plenty of black on there. So again, you're going to pack down. I can't talk while I'm doing it, but you're gonna pack down and bring it all the way to the end and in this lit area. Don't go anywhere near where your transition color is. So, you have your black placed. I know it looks crazy right now, but that's expected because you're going to now blend what's here into the transition color. I suggest using a clean brush. I would use the brush that I use for my transition, but I wanna keep those colors in there so that I can you know, clean up anything that gets messy. Honestly, I love the same brush that I used here because it's flat and you can use that round area. So I will be using a clean M210. M210. <laughs> A M209 brush, a clean one, so that I can blend that color up into the transition color, okay? So because this is flat, which is good, you're gonna go with the round curve of the brush right here, and you're going to land it right in here and brush it upwards so that you can get that harsh application out and it just looks gradient, okay? So you're going to slowly do circular motions upward. And it's gonna take some time because you want it to look good. I like this brush because it goes right directly into the area that you want to focus on so that it can start getting blended out. The matte eyeshadow is much easier to work with for beginners or those who don't really like messing with messy eyeliner. So I'm gonna go back with that seam brush that I used the block for and just still work that in there. Doesn't have to look perfect right now. At the end, I will blend out the transition color with that other brush that I used in the beginning just to clean everything up, but you do wanna just at least get the black packed in there. So I got this eye done, pretty much did the same technique. I am still continuing to clean up the rough edges, but as you can see, this is diffused, so is that one. I went back in and added some more black just to make it a little bit more um, smoked out. So I will now be cleaning up with the M518 brush that I used to put in my transition color. So this brush right here. I am gonna go in with a dark color just to kind of blend those two together. The darkest one that I used right here. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that, tap it off, and I'm just going to very, very lightly just work it into the black. Go in windshield wiper, or you can go in small circular motions, whichever you're comfortable. And then you can slowly move down so you can diffuse out that black color. So we're gonna add the shimmer color from the Perception palette from ColourPop. And I'm gonna go in with this navy blue. It has blue sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see it here. So I'm going to use my finger to apply that. I'll get them out here and I'm going to apply it on. and you can see the blue sparkles on there, so pretty. Okay, so your smoky eyes are pretty much done. 
and how it comes out on the end. So now I'm going to put my eyeliner on underneath and I'm going to do the full face and then I will show you the finished product without this sweatshirt. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished product of a black smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I hope that you try it yourselves. If you like it, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I just, the only finishing touches I add is the smoking out the bottom lash line and I just put on a different shirt. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts and if there's any other makeup looks that you want me to do let me know and I'll be happy to try them I'll see you in my next video